What's up, Queen Squad? If y'all did not know, hey, we hit 600 sales on SD. Hey, and we are celebrating. Woo! Hey! Woo! Hey! Hey! Woo! Come on! Woo! 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 Celebrate! Come on! Woo! Hey! Sorry, y'all. So, with all that excitement, I'm excited and happy to do this video because, y'all, we hit 600 sales on SD. Guys, I made a plan. No, rather, I set my goals. I made a plan and I hit my goals. Okay, so I gave myself until December to hit 600 sales on SD. And guys, as soon as I dropped the body body on the body skull, ah, we hit six, over 600 rather. So we passed our goals. And I just want to encourage or business owners out there, or queen boss, or king boss, whoever you are, you're a boss, okay? I want to encourage you to write a plan, you know? Set a goal and hit the goal. Regardless if we're in a pandemic, right? You can still hit your goals, all right? So I'm gonna share some of the tips of how I was able to achieve the 600 sales on SD. So number one, utilize your social media like instagram use hashtags um take photos of your, your your items that you're selling wear your items whether it be clothes wear it because i don't know if i'm gonna get some clothes that in the same material like you're showing me so we need to actually see it right um nobody's gonna promote your business if you don't wear it or you don't use it all right let people see that it actually works let people see how it looks on your lips on you in your hair and stuff like that um be very detailed be very detailed with um information on sd and i learned this late but be very detailed so if you know that your body butter is gonna melt let the people know if it melts what they can do right um be very detailed like for example if the clothes is supposed to wash in either hot water warm water cold water be very detailed let the people know um, let's go back to the social media hashtag um, Take pictures of your items Yo guys listen the reels the video the new feature on Instagram y'all better be using that Y'all better be using that because guess what that helps a lot that gives us the exposure to uh, potential customers Also, make sure that your customer service is on deck on deck, on deck, on deck. So why I say that? I say that because if you have great customer service to that individual, by mouth, that person gonna tell somebody, you know, she's really good, her products are really good, then that person will become a potential uh, customer. They will purchase, they will tell somebody else, or they will put on their page, um, exposing your business to, you know, other people that you don't have the capacity to do. So, and it's really good to ask them to leave a review on your page or on SD, or this can be your website as well. Um, ask them to leave a review because that also helps you to gain other customers. Because when people go to your page, they will see the review and like, all right, you know, it's actually good. I will try or I will get it. Um, so yeah, we gained 600 um, sales on SD. It wasn't easy. There were times where we did not have any sale for a week, um, but we... We pressed through it, and y'all will probably hear me all the time saying we, because I don't just look at my business as a small business, as everybody will see it now, but I see my business as a big business. So even if I'm the only one who's in my business right now creating my products by myself, I still see my business as a big business because I know what the, the plans of the Lord has for me and my business, so I will forever say we. Because I'm speaking it into being. So leave me alone. Um, but yeah. Utilize your stories. The hashtags. Be consistent in posting pictures on your page. At least three times a day. Flood your stories if you have to. Okay. 
um and that's pretty much it as i said be very detailed on your page be very detailed on your website um the benefits of the products um you know the use of the product is very important that you tell people the benefits of the products and also how you take your picture content content is very important if your content is flop and the picture them look good with quality then it's a it's a wrap um as for me i kind of say i have a struggle with that because my ring light thank god is working now but my ring light work when it want to work it works when it want to work so this time when my picture will look dull and stuff like that but i am working on it i'm working on getting a new ring light if y'all want to sponsor or donate you let me know but um yeah and even when it's slow don't give up don't give up even when it's slow don't give up keep pushing keep pressing listen being a business owner is not easy especially in a pandemic listen it's not easy but the key is not to give up and to be consistent because it will be the time that you want to give up that sales be rushing in i actually cried because or whip butter and a whip body scrub was sold out under 24 hours it wasn't even 24 hours yet i went to bed because I stayed up for the countdown. I went to bed, got up the next morning, and it was sold out. By the time I was preparing the packages, the body scrub was sold out. And I cried because guess what? I had a rough couple of weeks. I was done with the fact that, God, I'm about to make these body butters and these body scrubs. And they're not going to sell out. I'm going to end up sitting down with them, like other products and stuff like that. I'm like, listen, God, I'm kind of tired. You know, money's running low. Things just not looking how it's supposed to. What you promised me, I don't see it. Okay? It be like that. You know, you're going to doubt yourself and your business. But I never, I didn't give up. I remember what he said. I I, I know where he's bringing me. And things are not going to be easy. So we're about to hit one year in December. And it has not been easy at all all there are times where i wanted to stop because i'm like god this ain't it and not to say stop making a person i was making but stop having the business you know because i love making lip gloss it it's going to be forever be a hobby for me um it helps me to clear my mind and stuff like that so it will forever be something that i'm going to do but to sell it and stuff like that and to have it in the business I'm like god i can't let me tell you Running a business takes money. Let's talk about that. It takes money. Okay? So you may get a little sale this week, and you have to use that same money to put to buy inventory. So business takes money. So if you're coming into the business because you see everybody's doing it, um, the Lord bless you. But... If you're coming into the business because you love to do it and also you want to start a business and you're willing to tackle the challenges that may come um, on the way of you being successful, then you're good to go. But if you're not willing to tackle those challenges, I'm going to tell you to think about it and then come back, to make a plan and come back. Now, I'm not telling you not to start a business, but I'm telling you to make a plan. Because a lot of times we see people successful in a business like, oh, you know, if they're successful, I can be too. Yes, you can. But they had a plan and it wasn't always easy. So as I go on this journey as a business owner and as I grow, I will be one of them to come and tell y'all straight up. It ain't easy. Especially when this is kind of the source of your income, so to say, it's not easy. But we are celebrating because we make it to 600 sales and SD and that was not easy. Um, and we got two months left to go. And, uh, you know, I have a goal in my head, but if I don't meet it, I it doesn't matter because I already hit my goals. And, oh, I didn't tell y'all. Ooh. We also hit 3K plus on Instagram. So... It's like a double celebration, no, triple celebration. 600 sales, 3K plus on Instagram, and also sold out on our body button or body scrubs. Triple celebration in one week. And honestly, our goal was to hit 1K. And I believe it was like February. It was like, oh yeah, we can hit 1K, whatever. 
when we hit 1k i'm like at this point i don't have a goal of how much followers we're gonna get let it just go ahead but when we hit 3k it was like wow that is huge so as a business owner once you have a certain amount certain amount of followers then your goal should now or your mindset your focus should now shift from not just having the followers but maintaining them and turning them into customers so this is why now you have to be very consistent so we did it come on hey i'm gonna tell alexa to turn it up alexa turn up to volume five Come on! Woo. You know we got a jam. Come on! Woo. I should have had a drink with me right now. <laughs> but if you're watching, you have a drink. Well, sip away, baby. But guys, thank you so much for supporting us, for supporting me. Um, you guys are amazing. I absolutely appreciate the support. Guys, it's the end of this video. I just wanted to share my excitement. And y'all, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In the month of November, we'll be rebranching. So our page is going to look different. Our logo is going to be different, hopefully. Because New York State is wilding. I'm, waiting, I'm still waiting for our name to be changed. But until then... We're gonna look brand new and I'm loving it. So, you know, things are kind of slow right now because we're basically starting over. But guys, we do have stuff on our website on sale. So go ahead and purchase, guys. I pray that we hit 800 sales before 2021. And I believe we can do it. We got two months we can do it. So guys, go ahead, go get a lip gloss for at least a dollar. A dollar for lip gloss. So y'all, go ahead, go order, go purchase. Don't forget to like, share, and comment because it's a celebration. Oh, come on. Hey, celebrate. Come on. And I'm not a singer, but I dance. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Your girl is up. 30 hertz straight up.